Okay, I'm back with another unboxing video. This one is for Tokyo Treat. Japanese candy straight from Japan. Uh, there won't be a whole lot of surprises here because I actually did an unboxing video when I first opened it and it, it really sucked. So uh, I'm going to do another one, but I already know what's in here. And I've tried a few things. So let's start with what I've tried. Here we have the chocolate de corn. Premium version of caramel corn, but with a surprising and lovely chocolatey twist. Enjoy the salty and sweet flavors mixed together in perfect harmony in this amazing snack. I really thought this would be really good because I, I had the uh, caramel flavor from uh, Tohato. And, you know, if you add chocolate to something that's already good, you'd think it'd be delicious. Here's what they look like. Well, I'm going to never all cry. But, I'm not delicious. I don't know, it kind of gets old and kind of hurries me. But, you know, they're, they're pretty good. That's good caramel corn. I also got this little Pokemon thing. This is Pokemon pretzels. Tasty pretzels are always popular among children and adults, especially those who are fans of Pokemon. These snacks are white cream coated to ensure that you'll have a full full on flavor experience in each mouthful. And you get a little bag full of them. Some of them are kind of torn. Oh, well that came out, but most of my white cream stuff. As you may can see through the bag, they have this cream, cream thing around them. And I'm not, I'm not digging the cream. I mean, they're pretty good, though. Not something I'm going to go out and buy. Even if I were in Japan. But not bad. Let's see, I got a DIY here. Which, of course, I won't be making in this video. I haven't done a DIY yet. This is mix three I have. But I'm not really good at that kind of stuff, so I'm not sure when I'll work up the gumption to make one. What is this? Chocolate flour rice cake. This delicious rice cake candy kit is made from real flour and flavored with rich chocolate that you will not find anywhere else. This one is a little scary to me. This is... Nariyami stirring up rain. This traditional sweet you will often see in the shops surrounding all of the festivals in Japan. This sticky liquid can become a solid and be eaten and enjoyed. Be careful because it is extremely sticky. I mean, when I first saw it, it looks like, uh, I mean, it doesn't even look like food, really. I'm assuming this is, is sort of settled into half of the bowl here. And. I will try that sometime. I'm not try it right now because uh, if it's extremely sticky, I want to be very careful <laughs> when I when I get into that thing. But that'll be different. I've never had anything like that before. Now, before we do that, let's do the poiful poiful jelly beans. Poifel is a unique jelly bean of Japan with a thin outer coating and interesting flavors of soda, melon, and other assortments which will leave you satisfied and you're still wanting more. Now I had some uh, Poifel thankfuls in my Japan crate and you know they are bad. I'm not a big jelly bean fan. I mean Lord knows I tried to be for, for Ronald Reagan's sake but I like how the, you take the top off and you just sort of raise this and you can just dump them right out. So the, those, those are the ones I tried weren't bad. I mean, I, I can only eat a few at a time because, like I said, I don't love jelly beans. Here's what it looks like. It looks like a little jelly bean. Mmm, pretty good. Here we have Meiji's Real Grains Jelly Kit. <clears throat> Unique candy made from sugar granular bubbles and cream. We think you'll revel in this decadent snack very much. 
simply use the package to create little drops into water, sift out the bubbles, drain, and mix with the foamy and sweet cream provided. That sounds like that's a lot. Of, that sounds pretty difficult. We will put this aside. Another DIY I'll tackle someday. Here's another thing I'm not going to try right now. This is interesting. Comes with a little, a little attached right here. This is Maragami Noodle Made Pretzel Tempura over Udon. Based off the renowned noodle shops of Maragume, Japan, this tasty snack is a pretzel, pretzel form of noodles we think you will enjoy. Enjoy each bite as the traditional Japanese flavors emerge and be surprised. So I'm not entirely sure what to do with this little pack. It feels like it's just like some kind of powder thing. You know what? I'm just not going to try it right now. I can't even get, I can't get the daggum thing open. So I did get a drink. I haven't tried it yet. Well, obviously, this is this is a, a, a going to be a good. I, I love trying Japanese drinks. Of course, I've only had one because I'm just new to this stuff. But this is Paka Sapporo Pudding Shake. Part pudding, another part beverage that you can enjoy on the go if you wish. The sweet jelly is made from eggs and caramel pudding. Shake about five times before taking a sip and then enjoy the unique texture paired with the very sweet and creamy flavors of this snack. I do want to refrigerate this, so I'll not be trying this right now, but uh, I've never had one of these, you know, combo liquid jelly things, so that's, I'm looking forward to that. Here we have a very interesting looking thing. Real Grape Jelly Bean Mystery. That's what they're called. Uh, these unique jelly beans. Here we go, jelly beans again. Load of grape flavor and will pack a punch of either sweet or sour in every bite. It's a gamble what variation of flavor each candy bean holds, so eat with care and try to enjoy the mystery of such a cool snack. So the mystery is whether or not you're going to get a sweet one or a sour one. I like sweet and I like sour. Let's see if I can get in here. They look kind of like pills. There they go. Look kind of like lima beans or something. But surely they'll taste better now. I got one little pink brown one and I got a big purple one. This one looks sweet. I'm going to try it first. I'm not sure if that's sweet or sour. Let's try that one. Frankly, the mystery is still alive for me because I can't tell which one's sweet and which one's sour. I thought there would be a big difference. But I really can't tell. They're good. Here we have seven sticks, seven stick chocolate cream. This chocolatey biscuit snack is called the Cinnamon Stick Chocolate Cream and is absolutely delicious. Enjoy chocolate cream surrounded by crunchy and sweet vanilla way for cookies. For the ultimate chocolate fix snack, snack you can enjoy anywhere. Sounds good. Let's see if we can open this one. I'm not sure what these little dudes are that are talking or what they're saying to each other there. But, uh, Actually, when I finally learn Japanese, I might be able to tell what, what that means. But for now, not so much. Oh, that opened easy. So here's what it looks like. You can see the chocolate in the middle, sort of. Tastes a little bit like ice cream cone. And, and I can taste the chocolate. Not bad. Hmm. Pretty good. Here we have Kitsuba Yokan Special. It's got special in parentheses. For whatever reason. 
traditional sweet bean jelly snack made from traditional Japanese gelatin called Kintsubo Yokan. This delicious candy has been popular for well over 500 years in Japan and loved by young and old. Often served in traditional Kyoto tea houses, so when you bite into one of these, you'll be enjoying a delicious piece of Japanese culture. And this is not what I was expecting when I opened this. It's it's just like a big block of what looks like chocolate, but obviously isn't. I don't know if I can even get into this without a fork. Okay, okay. hold on. I got have a fork. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to eat this, but. Give it a shot. I'm not too feeling too good about this one. That's not very good. I ain't gonna lie to you. That doesn't really fit suit my taste. Yeah. That doesn't really float my boat. So, well, I'm a pretty picky eater anyway, so. It's unusual I've gone this far without not liking something. Now we have. Ponsky Ponchy Fried Snack. Delicious fried morsels will suit any occasion with their sweet and savory flavor mixed with a unique texture. Many pieces that can be popped into your mouth until you're willing to stop snacking. Enjoy with friends or don't. Just cute little design there. Cat like. Okay, well, we got one out. We got one out. It looks like a uh, very small asteroid. Except it's not, you know. Dark. Pretty good. Can't really describe the flavor. It's got almost, you know, it reminds me of a hush puppy. Uh, a Western North Carolina hush puppy. I don't know if they have hush puppies everywhere. If they do, they probably don't taste like ours. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's big. There's a lot in here. That's good. Good eating. I think I've got one thing left. No, two things. Two things. Wasabi. Wasabi pretzels. These awesome biscuit sticks are both crispy and zesty with a powerful wasabi bang in each bite. Ah, unique biscuit treats. I have never had wasabi. I've heard about it. Uh, doesn't sound like the kind of thing I would particularly like, but you never know. Let me get a couple out here. Wasabi pretzels. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard about that wasabi kick. This started kicking pretty quick. Even on my lips where it went in. Definitely a little the wasabi definitely spicy. But good. Kind of like those fancy crackers you get when you go to the steakhouse with your salad. Except it's got that wasabi kick to it. And it kinda I don't like the taste for like a split second when that wasabi kick them but after that it's good last but not least chocolate animal poo that's why I said chocolate animal poo I was really hoping to get one of these this hilarious candy resembles animal droppings that pop from the box as if the animal was relieving itself in the Japanese tradition you can sort you can see what sort of luck you have each day by the color in which the candies are released. So it has a little thing here on towards the uh, tail end. Which you open. And it has, it, it kind of, I'm sure it probably tells on here what colors mean what. But I can't read Japanese. Not yet anyway. So I don't know what's what, but let's see. 
if we can get something out of here. I seem to have a constipated chocolate poo animal here. Come on. This thing's got some Randy Marsh size poo apparently. Can you get it out? Oh, the whole thing's in a freaking bag. Well, no wonder it would come out. I didn't know I had to open it and get it out of the bag first. I'll never get this thing folded back. Okay, I just pulled the bag out. You would think chocolate animal poo would be chocolate color, but apparently not. I'm trying to get a couple different flavors. I got a purple, I don't know what color, purplish? Doesn't taste like chocolate. I was expecting chocolate animal food to taste like chocolate. Disappointing. I mean, it, there's no way that anything resembling chocolate. But in theory, you take it out of the bag, put the things back in, and they plop out from the behind. Chocolate animal food. That is not chocolate. A little weird so I think that's about it uh, I've got a Korean snack crate coming hopefully this week later this week uh, can't think the name of it but I haven't had a Korean had had Korean food yet so they're not Korean snack food I'm looking forward to that and I'll unbox that too so for now this has been Tokyo treat unboxing October 2015. Uh, gotta say, so far, at least you know, over this one month, I'm trying to try these two out: Japan Crate and Tokyo Treat. Uh, I like Japan Crate better, so I'm probably going to try Tokyo Treat another month, give them another, you know, give them a second chance. But I can't really afford to do both at the same time, so I'll probably have to eliminate one of the two. But uh, Japan Crate is in the lead right now. So we'll see how next month goes. Uh, thanks for watching.